Finally, it's time we can show everyone we can ready to go. Are we finally taking to the high seas? Are you putting us to work even during our vacation? Uh, are you putting us to work even during our vacation? Uh, ready to go. Come in. Sorry to make you trudge here through the heat. I have a meeting soon, so I'll make this brief. You're going back to Blue Water Island. That's right. We just picked up a massive signal coming from there. It was faint, but we detected movement. Since it's located inside the ocean, the signal could have been affected by the current, and there is also a possibility that it could have been a seismic shift. Other aquamarine life may have interfered with the signal. At this point, it's difficult for us to discern exactly what we're dealing with, so you'll have to go and see for yourself to confirm. I'm sure it will end up being nothing. After a cursory check, you can enjoy a nice relaxing vacation by the seaside. It is. There's only one way in and out of the island, and it's surrounded on all other sides by water. You'd be hard-pressed to find a safer place on the surface. It's not as if a marine rapture will burst out of the sea and attack all of a sudden. Besides, you made it abundantly clear before how much you wanted to go back to Blue Water Island. Battle's finished. Moving on. This sounds.
sounds like a government-sponsored vacation to me. You've done well, Commander. Get yourself up to the sea and enjoy yourself. Take the counters with you as well. That's in order. Yahoo! Yippee! <sighs> I'll start packing. When do you expect us to depart? Okay. Don't want to forget my swimsuit. Oh, right! I'm gonna pack a whole bunch of sodas. Can't go without a swimsuit. I'll be sure to bring my inner tube as well. Any chance you could lend me that? No way! This is only to be used for those who walk the path of firepower. Jeez, you don't have to be so stingy. Anyway, I'm finally getting a chance to head to the beach. I'm so excited! Hey. Prep done. See? Go. You already contacted everyone? <laughs> that was fast. Who else is go- I heard everything. Considering all the devices I made last time, I should be able to pack a little lighter this time around, right? That should be fine. But just in case, I brought some additional medication. I've got butterflies in my stomach. I might as well tag along this time, too. Uh, don't you think it's getting a little crowded? There are just as many of us as there were last time. Oh, no sugar. That's right. How come she's not here? Job. Gotcha. Well then, is that everyone? Left. May I come in? I came as fast as I could. Thanks for contacting me. A mission to track down a signal originating from the ocean. I've waited so long for this day. We're finally gonna go up and sail the high seas. I can't believe it. What? Is there a problem? Huh? What does that mean? Oh. That's okay. The important thing is that we were able to prove our usefulness. So the Aegis Squad will be coming as well. Say we were going up to the sea. That's it. Huh? What? We've received an official order to go up to the ocean. The day has finally come to show the world what Aegis can do. Uh, Anchor, I hate to say this, but I think Helm has finally lost her marbles. I was thinking the same thing. Do you think it was because she was never able to go up to the sea? What a shame. Ugh.
That's enough out of you two. Where is Deputy Chief Burning Gum right now? Hmm. She's definitely as uptight as she's always been. Anyway, I would assume he'd be in his office like always. Then let's go. Follow me. Huh? Can you at least give us some more information? Away we go. Do, do, do. Who is it? Deputy Chief Burning Gum? It's Helm. Oh, Helm. Oh, come in. I apologize for showing up unannounced. It's okay. If it's you, th there must be a viable reason. So, what is it? We're going on a mission to investigate the ocean up on the surface. Wait, she was actually telling the truth back there? I guess so. I'm officially requesting permission to use the Admire. In, in investigating the ocean on the surface? This is the first I've heard of this. I was just briefed on the mission myself. A strange signal was caught on the sea, so we're being sent to search the surrounding area. The mission itself is simple. But as a precaution, my hope was that the Admire could be sent up to the surface as well. Hmm. I'm sorry, but that's impossible. But... how? We have a boat party scheduled a w week from now. The preparations are already com com complete. Mast and Anchor are w w working on the final touches. So that's why the two of them were on the Admire. Yeah. Besides, d d deploying the Admire for such a banal task would be more trouble than it's worth. But this is the first time we've received a sea-based mission. We don't know what unexpected events might take place. The Admire should make an appearance and prove its worth. And what if it doesn't? What would you do then? The entire reason we're holding this parties because we can barely afford the maintenance fees. What if we go out of our way to send the Admire out on the water and nothing happens? Would you be willing to take res responsibility for that? Uh. From what I'm he he hearing, you're talking about the signal that we captured last time. It sounds to me like this is nothing more than an ex ex excuse to horse around on the high seas. The upcoming party is far more I I important than that. You know as well as I do that marine-based raptures exist, lying dormant on the ocean floor. We're dealing with a lot of uncertainties here. We don't know when or for what reason they may awaken. There haven't been any sightings in decades. Th that's... Ahem. <sighs> <clears throat> it's not that I, I... I don't understand how you feel. But you must consider this f f from my perspective. Okay. I asked for too much. I apologize. I'll excuse myself. Helm. Helm. <sighs> Let's go. Initiating engagement sequence. With this, we're one step closer to our dream. Dang, I'm good! There's still one week left to the boat party, and we already finished all the preparation! I didn't think it was possible, but we're getting better at this! This whole ship is spick and span from stem to stern! All with seven whole days left until the party. Incredible, right? Hmm. Right. I'm impressed with you two. Good job, both of you. Aye aye, Captain! So don't you worry, Helm. Go ahead. 
What? What do you mean? The party is one week away! I don't know the exact mission schedule, but you should be setting out within the next few days. So I'm telling you not to worry, and to go take up this mission. Huh. <sighs> the Aegis Squad has never been deployed to the sea before. Who knows when we'll get another opportunity like this. I want you guys to experience the sea as much as you can. So Mast and Anchor, I want you two to go on the mission. Are you sure you can take care of everything here? You've got to verify each of the guests' entry tickets. Replenish the food and drinks the second they run out. Not to mention all the cleaning up after the party. All the rooms the guests stayed in need to be sorted up before the next guest arrives as well. And the list goes on. Will you be okay? Um... I'll just have to do my best. Figures. You're typically cool as a cucumber under pressure, but when it comes to this kind of thing, you fall faster than a house of cards. Then again, I suppose that's all part of your charm. Anyway, you said this was an official mission? Right. If there's a first, then there's bound to be a second. Hmm. You never know. This may be a golden opportunity. Sea-based missions may increase. So, Helm, you go. It'll be a nice pin on our collective lapel. We'll boast about that time Helm sailed the high seas. You can tell them that it won't be long until the Admire will be called into action. If we say stuff like that, I'm sure donations will come flooding in. Yeah, like a big old tidal wave. Whoosh! Leave the party to us. You just focus on coming back safely. I'm certain that next time, the entire Aegis Squad will be there. All of us. Oh. Very well. I'll do my best to make you both proud. I'll prove that I'm capable on the field to ensure that we're given other missions. Aye aye, Captain. Be safe. I will. Counters, all set. All set. All set. Seraphim is all set as well. Don't forget about me. All set. I will be the sole representative for the H's squad. Really? That's a shame. I was hoping that the whole H's squad could go up to the sea together. Same here. This mission was tailor-made for them. The boat party threw a wrench in our plans. There was nothing we could do. Dang, that's too bad. Ocean, here we come! You are certainly chomping at the bit, Anise. How could I not? Last time, I got stranded ashore. I had to put up with you guys talking endlessly about how much fun you've had on the island. I've been green with envy. I'll show you all the best spots from last time. Sounds good. Go sleep. Freema, I made you a special hammock for the occasion. Oh dear, what have you got in store for us this time, Jan? Sorry. But I'm afraid that's a secret. I'll let you know once we're on the island. Ooh, I can't wait. Oh, everybody seems so carefree. I suppose you're right. Let's go. Enemy aircraft confirmed. There's a huge boulder over there. Massive waves are constantly crashing against it. So 
know if you stand on top of it, it feels like you're a water power god. Why don't you just shorten it to water god? Make way for an E. Water god number two. I guess you could do that. <sighs> Rima has somehow managed to fall asleep while walking. Wow, this is kind of freaky. Maybe she's only pretending to be asleep. Perhaps we should do a sleep test then. Mm. <sighs> huh? I do? Is it that obvious? I feel like I'm bringing the mood down. Sorry. Yes. I wanted all three of us to be here. All aboard the Admire as well, of course. Don't let it get you down. Instead, have as much fun as possible on their behalf. In case you've forgotten, this is a mission, not purely recreation. Sure, but Anderson said that if everything's on the up and up, after our initial recon, we can kick back and relax. Isn't that right, Commander? See? Anyway, it's nice to have you along for the ride, Helm. You know everything there is to know about the sea, so we can ask you all kinds of stuff. How could I not be stoked? Hey, that's a good point. Do you know a lot about water power? I've had an interest in water power ever since coming back from our last trip. If I could use both fire power and water power, wouldn't that be something? I don't think I'll be of much assistance in that regard. Sorry. Oh, okay. If not you, then who could possibly be the master of water power? 500 meters until the destination. I'll install a decoy near the island. Neon, can you help? You got it! <gasps> it doesn't matter how often I gaze upon the sea. Its beauty just never ceases to amaze me. Is that island over there our destination? Correct. Our previous observations showed that the path tends to open up in week-long chunks. Just a week? Are you saying that this pathway leading to the island closes off later? Yep. That's why the commander and the rest of them got stuck on the island before. Just my luck. Anyway, it hasn't been long since the road has been open, so we should be okay for six to seven days. The only reason we got marooned on the island before was because we didn't know any of this then. I see. Mast would have loved seeing this. Decoys have been deployed. For the time being, this island is as safe as can be. So there's no danger whatsoever. Nope. We installed a decoy on the only pathway leading in. And the other sides are all surrounded by water. So we're good to go. Roger. It's been a while. But the villa leader built is virtually unchanged. As if it would be any other way. I built this thing to last. Our clinic is still the same as well. Still as charming as ever. Me sleep. What the? When did you change into your swimsuit? I see you've entered vacation mode already. Anise, help Neon unpack the supplies. The commander and I are going to check out the signal. On it. Should we clean up the clinic a bit, Pepper? We should change as well. Yes, ma'am. Helm, you know more about the sea than any of us. Could you come along and help us out? Of course. Thanks. Let's head out, Commander.
I don't see anything. I don't hear anything out of the ordinary either. This is pointing out the obvious, but I don't sense any raptures. Hmm. No. I don't feel anything. I should change into my swimsuit. We might discover something in the water. Let's head back to the villa for now. Huh, you're back quick. Did you find something? Not a thing. We're going underwater to check, just in case. Where are my belongings? Over there. You're going to wear your swimsuit? Yes. Someone once donated a swimsuit at one of our fundraisers. I brought it just in case I would have to swim. Hmm... I better change too then. Why are you changing? Why wouldn't I? To get into the summertime spirit, of course. What else would you wear when you're on the beach? I wanted to wear this thing in June, but never got the chance. Huh. I've officially switched to my water attribute. Isn't it cute? <laughs> Are you finished? Scooch over so I can change. Oh man. Helm, let's go in together. What? It's okay, I'll change by myself. Some of these swimsuits can be a challenge to squeeze into. Quit protesting and get in here. Wait, I... And take this off. Gee, you're wearing more layers than an old granny. I can do it myself. Just wait. You've got to make sure that it's tied nice and tight. Otherwise, it'll unravel. Like this. <sighs> Are you sure it's not too tight? That's only because you're packing a little extra up top. You should be proud of that. I gotta say, this swimsuit is pretty high quality, considering it's a donation. Do you remember who gave you this? I bet they were weird looking. Must you always say such crass things? Wait, why are you putting that on over it? This isn't up for debate. I'm keeping it. Then what's the point of even wearing a bikini? It's my choice. Just listening is enough to get you hot and bothered. That's what you're thinking, isn't it, Master? Your expression tells me as much. Ta-da! Incredible, right? You came well prepared. Mm. Helm's feeling a bit bashful, so she's wearing a slip over her bikini. Don't be too upset, Commander. I've got a great idea. What do you mean? Never you mind. If everyone's finished changing, let's head back to that spot. Okay. Hey, Rappy! Don't think you can sleep off like that without changing. Get in there! <sighs> Engaging the enemy. off as well. Pepper and I will be at the clinic, so be sure to come over if you get hurt. I'm planning on going for a swim and finding out where that signal is coming from. We'll back you up. I can't swim, but if you end up finding something, you don't want to be on your own. Right! I don't know 
help will be much help, but we'll do what we can. That would be very helpful. Thank you. We gotta wrap this up quick so we can kick back and relax. Right. Relaxing is what I do best. Right. I'll be back. I won't. My entire body is immersed in freezing water. I have to find something down here, even if it's the most minute of clues. Only then can there be another mission. That way, Mast, Anchor, and... The Admire can all come. Oh! That sound! Helma's been down there for a long time. I'm not sure myself. I've never been submerged underwater. Nah, she should be okay. Helm is from the Aegis Squad. Helm! I told you she'd be fine. <sighs> I'm okay. <sighs> I'm just tired from all the swimming, that's all. So you didn't turn anything up? <sighs> no, thankfully. However, did any of you just feel some kind of vibration? Hmm? I didn't feel anything. Same here. Nope, nothing. Really? Okay. Then I'll call it in as a false signal, and we can consider this case closed. I figured as much. None of this made sense from the start. A signal emitting from the sea? That's never happened before. At any rate, on to the next mission then, is it? There was a next mission? You bet your bottom dollar there is. And it's way more important than the most nail-biting seafaring adventure. What is it? It's... To have some fun in the sun! Since we've got official approval from the top brass, we've got to enjoy ourselves to the max. There's a decoy set up on the only route in or out, so there's no worry of us being attacked by raptures. Let's cut loose and have some fun! <sighs> Come on! Why so Serious. Let your hair down and have some fun. Oh! That's not fair! Oh, uh. Missed you? I told you I had plans, didn't I? Why cover yourself up after putting on such a stunning swimsuit? Oh. Subordinate. I suggest we return to the Ark. What? Come again? But I even made a guidebook for this island! We haven't even had any fun! Even if the top brass have given us the go-ahead, this is still the surface. A suspicious signal was detected, and we've been unable to trace it. I think it would be better to go back, rather than play around while constantly looking behind our backs. Commander! Are we really going to go back so soon? Just let us take a quick dip in the ocean before we go. Right, right! And you really wanted to see the sea too! We all know how uptight the higher-ups are about the surface. But even they said we could chill out here for a while. Hmm. Do you want to go swimming? Oh wait, I can't swim. Can you show me some deep sea fish? No, you two amuse yourselves first. I'm a little tired, so I'll sit down here. Hmm. How does not exactly seem chipper? Definitely not. Think there's a solution? Come 
on, come on. You don't want to miss out on this deal. Taste some special treats you can only find up on the surface. You may think it's pricey, but you can't put a price on something you can't taste anywhere else. I was wondering what Yan had brought with her. Turns out it's all merchandise to sell. Oh! That's it. Let's go, Neon. Huh? We've got some cooking to do. What are you doing? Do you have any idea how expensive these are? We all came here to have a fun time together and you're hoarding all this delicious food just so you can make a few bucks? How miserly can you get? Just you wait. We're gonna whip up one heck of a feast with this stuff. A whole feast? You betcha. There's something I've had my eye on the moment we set foot on this island. Wait, my grill! I hereby declare this feast free! Anissa Neon's Firepower Barbecue House is open for business! Huh? I'll attract the customers, so you do the cooking, Neon. Me? Why? Neon, in case you forgot, you're the master of firepower. If you want barbecue, then you need some flame to cook with, no? You're the perfect person for this job. <gasps> it all makes sense now. Since this is a fire near the seaside, this is the perfect test for me to control both my firepower and water power. Bring in as many people as you can. I'm gonna serve up the most finger licking barbecue they've ever tasted. You got it. Come and get it! My grill! All my precious food! Stop whining and hurry up and eat it! Oh, believe me, I wouldn't let any of this go to waste. <clears throat> what? What have you done with this? I is it that bad? It's delicious! Out of this world! Neon, what do you say we open up a restaurant when we're back in the Ark? Be quiet, would you? I've got to control the current temperature, humidity, and heat all at once. Oh, sorry. Oh my goodness, some real food instead of Splendamen? I'll take one with more vegetables. Give me all the meat you can. Okay, just a moment, please. Our chef is working overtime back there. Smell amazing. Awake. Make one for Volt, too. Quite something. Not even this mouth-watering smell can make her come here. Oh well, what can you do? Neon. Yes? Give me three pieces of the finest grilled meat you can whip up. You're not going to eat it all, are you? No! You take one as well, Commander. Tastes better when you eat together with other people. Let's go! We're gonna get Hal to taste this scrum diddly option barbecue! <sighs> that vibration. Am I really the only one who can sense it? I just can't shake it from my mind. Something strange is go. What are you mumbling? Ah! What are you two doing here? What is this? You really couldn't smell this? You must have really been concentrating on whatever it was. I've been hearing a weird vibrating sound for a while, so I haven't been able to pay attention to anything else. Really? Is everything okay? Yeah, I think I'll be okay if I rest a bit. You think so? Well, in that case, try 
up on this while you rest. Ahem, <clears throat> that neon and I made? Thanks. Where did you get this anyway? You ask too many questions. Just take a bite. The flavor is second to none. Hmm. How? Hmm. Hmm. Well, isn't it great? Yeah. It's nice. I've never had something that tasted like this before. Mm. <sighs> Helm, are you thinking about Mast and Anchor right now? If only they were here, they would enjoy this more than anyone. Stuff like that? Oh! I knew it. I told you to loosen up. But I can't help it. This was our first mission associated with the sea. So it all weighs on me a bit differently. Us coming here has turned up nothing of substance. Yet everyone seems to be enjoying themselves. I keep thinking how much Mast and Anchor would be enjoying themselves as well, if they were here. Hmm... It is a bit peculiar, I suppose. But the signal apparently picked up something massive. If it were so colossal, though, surely you would have been able to see it when you went diving. Hmm. You're right. I didn't discover anything. But how could that be? What if the signal moved? That would be a cause for concern. Is there a way to find out? We need a locating device out in the water. One that can track signal locations in real time. But there's no way we'll be able to find something like that here. Oh, right! I totally forgot Litter is here. Let's go and ask her. A tracking device that you put in the water, which tracks objects in real time. Hmm... It's doable. But there's one specific material that's absolutely mandatory. And I don't think you'll be able to find it here. What is it? A GPS receiver. Oh... Give me another. Here you go. One more for me as well. Coming right up. I never thought she'd become a barbecue baron in such a short period. Oh. No. We've got plenty of GPS receivers all around us. Everyone brought their cell phones with them, didn't they? Ah! Good thinking! Most cell phones come with the built-in GPS receiver. Of course I brought it. But what's all this about a GPS receiver? We're planning on making a tracking device that can track objects in real time. And we need a GPS receiver in order to build it. So, we're going to have to take apart one of our phones. I thought the mission was over. There's been some suspicious activity, so we've decided to open it back up again. Your cooperation in this matter would be greatly appreciated. Very well. You can use my cell phone then. No, there's no need. We need to use the cell phone that has the best GPS inside. Huh? How come? If we're placing this device on the mainland, it wouldn't be a problem, but this is an island. Just to play it safe, it'd be wise to construct it using only the best materials. But I just got this phone! Okay, everyone. Hand over your phones. Ugh. You're actually serious, aren't you? Has someone else gotten a new phone recently? I don't care much when it comes to my cell phone. I'm more concerned with having the most up-to-date medical equipment. Mine is quite new, but it's a few generations behind yours, Anise. Phones are way too expensive these days for me to upgrade. I know. It feels like there's a new one every time you turn around. And they're all so expensive. You must have deep pockets to afford a new phone. 
<sighs> it's decided then. You've gotta be kidding me. Is it really going to be me? I barely had this phone for a year. I was gonna use it to take photos here and play games before going to sleep. Uh. All right, you promised. Don't you forget that. My data won't be erased or anything, will it? No, it'll be fine. I'll be dismantling it, but I'll keep all the parts intact. I know this is all rather sudden, but thank you for understanding. What else can I do? It's required for the mission. But I'll only do it on one condition. And that is? You've got to hang around and have fun with us until the device is complete. Hmm. We won't have anything to do until then anyway. I know you feel bad coming here by yourself. But we're all concerned for you if you continue to stay in this funk. So, are you going to hang out with us or not? Hmm. Okay. I'll get to work on the device straight away. If everything goes smoothly, it'll be ready tonight. If not, it'll be done by midday tomorrow. The ocean is calling us! Can't I just connect this thing to a water tank and be done with it? Refilling underground water! This battle's finished. Moving on. I'll show you what a true pirate can do! There's more where that came from. This is nothing compared to my daily training. We'll beat you tomorrow and you can count on it. But weren't we planning on going back tomorrow? I figured we'd stay a little longer to conduct more recon once the observation device is finished. If we don't turn anything up, then we can play for a few more days afterwards. Sounds great. Uh... Oh, Helm. Have you still been hearing that vibrating sound? If you have, I'd have Mary take a look at you. No. I don't hear it now. You're not lying, are you? It's true. I haven't heard it for a while now. Hanging out with everyone did me a world of good. Well, that's a relief, but... Don't worry. Actually, I should get in touch with Mast. Okay. Okay, who gets first dibs on the shower? Pepper and I can go last. I'm going to sit back and watch the waves for a little longer. Alright then, I'll go for... Me... You've always had a unique talent for being irritating, Prima. We're covered head to toe in sand. Can you let us go first? No. First come, first serve. Fine, then I'm second. Oh, that's a low blow, Neon. How about we all wash together? No. Fine, let's make this fair and square then. Rock, paper, scissors. No! First come, first serve. Ugh. Ah, screw it. You all go wash up first. I'll hang out on the beach and have another soda. Good. 
<sighs> It'll be a bit boring all by myself. Does anyone want to join me? Awesome! Thanks, Commander. But let me know when you're all done so I can hop in. Will do. Wow! Would you look at that sky? The sun is setting. Good timing, huh? Refreshing. A nice can of soda, beautiful sea views. What more can you ask for? Heck no. There's so much I still want to do. I'm going to keep enjoying myself until I get tired of it. Hmm. To be honest, I'm a bit perturbed. It'd be nice if Helm would stop worrying and learn to enjoy herself a little more. She ended up having some fun with us in the end, but... It still feels like there's this monkey on her back she can't shake. <sighs> Helm's entire life mission is to sail the seas on the Admire, isn't it? Amazing. You know me, Commander. I'm a simple gal. I don't have such lofty aspirations. Maybe that's why. I'm perfectly content just relaxing on the beach like this. Helm is the one who values the sea most out of all of us. If anything, she should be enjoying herself the most. Commander, do you know why Helm is pushing herself so hard? You're not wrong. But... There's another answer you're not thinking of. The Aegis Squad is the most important thing to Helm. More so than the sea. I keep wanting to tell her things will work out, and that she just needs to be patient. But I don't know if I'll ever get the right opportunity to express that. You don't have to answer, Commander. Still, it's nice to know that. At least one other person understands. You can say that again. It's wonderful being here with you like this. It's because I'm so happy that I feel free to speak my mind about Helm and her predicament. At any rate, best not to worry about it too much. Gotta focus on having as much fun as possible for the next few days. How about you, Commander? <sighs> uh, what? Why are you staring at me like that for? Uh, I blame the sea! It's getting me all emotional. just polished off this soda, so how about we go look for Helm? I feel bad that we planned out the shower schedule without her. The only question is, where is she? She must be over there. You down to Davey! 
more things on your end. Helm. You're not gonna believe this. Oh. Did something happen? It's just that... Everything is going smoother than even I anticipated! Huh? <laughs> you should have seen your face! You don't have to worry about us. The party's going swimmingly. We're really raking in the collections as well. Yeah? That's a relief. How are things over there? Hmm. We haven't discovered anything. Oh! That's a relief. So, are you having fun with everyone else? Or are you just being your usual self and sitting around pouting? Hmm. No. I'm having fun. Your expression says otherwise. Wait, I've got it! You can't possibly have fun when the two of us have been left behind. Am I on the right track? Ooh, or you don't want to come back without discovering anything. Is that it? Mast. I'm not so convinced you didn't go up there with some ulterior motive. You're already up there, so you might as well have some fun. How can you say that? All I've ever dreamt of is for the three of us to go out to sea. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. If I come back empty-handed, then they admire... the entire Aegis Squad. Helm! I know, I know. Still, you shouldn't... Helm! There you are! Ah! Did I come at a bad time? You two weren't having some secret communique, were you? No, don't worry about it. If you say so. Anywho, we left you out of the shower schedule. You're gonna have to go last, is that okay? I can change the order if you want. It doesn't matter. Showering is the last thing I'm thinking about right now. I'll stand guard while everyone washes up. Litter is probably hard at work on her own as well. Ugh. You both said you didn't hear the vibrations, right? Then you have no idea what I'm going through. What's running through my mind, and how nervous I am. So please, you don't have to pretend. Don't worry about me. Go ahead and do your thing. <sighs> Helm, what is it that's making you so nervous? Mm. Sea-based raptures exist, and we don't know if, or for what reason, they may attack. Subordinate is with us as well. How could anyone not be concerned in such a distressing situation? The last sighting of an aquatic rapture was nearly a hundred years ago. <sighs> Helm, I hope you don't take offense to this. But are you hoping that we run into an aquatic rapture? Uh, what do you mean? I came here to complete a mission, nothing more. Just because we didn't discover anything. So what did you want to discover? Traces of an aquatic rapture? The remains of one? No. It's not like that. I... <gasps> Are you sensing the vibration again? Guys! It's huge! What are you talking about? What's got you so scared? <sighs> Look at this! It's the observation device. You completed it already? There's a reason I'm with Mighty Tools. But that's not why I came. Look at this signal here. Am I seeing things, or is that thing moving? That's right. Whenever this dot moves, the waters around here are incredibly turbulent. I felt like I had to tell you as soon as possible. It's right behind us. I'll go check. You 
idiot? Commander, let's follow her. Oh, for crying out loud, I ran all this way and now I gotta do it again. Have some consideration for your elders. Take me with you. Battle's finished. Moving on. Helm, you're not thinking of jumping into the sea, are you? You look like you're up to something. The signal is fairly far off. I think it would be a good idea to go in and examine it further. What? No! Why do you keep... It. That's the sound I've been hearing all day long. What? You've been hearing this infernal racket all day long? Wait, what is that? Are those tentacles? <sighs> Everyone, hide! Ugh. Is everyone okay? Me too. I'm okay here. <sighs> Kraken. Move! Greenhorn, get back! Oh my god. Is it... an island? A rapture. <sighs> Where'd it go? At any rate, we've bought ourselves some time. Commander! Where are you? Master! <laughs> Shh. Commander! Thank goodness we found you in time. Praise be to the heavens! Did you all feel those vibrations? You bet we did. And that sound! It was like nails on a chalkboard! What on earth was it? Was it in an earthquake? No. That was no earthquake. That was a rapture! What? Let's head inside the villa for now. We're right at the water's edge, and it's getting dark. It's dangerous here. Right. Let's head back. Wait. Helm, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. You're so not okay! You're limping! Why are you always so reckless? Mary! Yes? I think Helm hurt her leg. Take a look at it once we're inside. I will. You don't need to. Just shut up and hurry! Wait, no, I mean, go slowly. Thankfully, she wasn't seriously injured. I didn't see any damaged parts. Still, I think it'd be best for her not to move around so much. <sighs> I'm sorry. 
I'm the only one here who can swim. I should have been more careful. If you knew that, why the hell didn't you just stay put? Why'd you take off running like that? Anise, you shouldn't talk to a patient like that. She's not taking care of herself. <sighs> Fine, let's just leave it. More importantly, what was that thing back there? I can't say for certain, but if it's what I think it is... It's a marine rapture, known as the Kraken. Kraken? A sea-based rapture? It's the first time I've heard of it. That doesn't surprise me. The last time anyone saw it was over a hundred years ago. It's a tyrant-class rapture. It claimed the lives of countless seafarers in the past. So much so, that it was called the Black Hole of the Sea. My god! If this thing's been dormant for so long, what made it reappear? From my understanding, the reason most sea-based raptures disappeared had to do with their power sources. Operating underwater is a power-intensive process, and Kraken's power source is the most intense of them all. It's a lumbering giant that constantly needs power, in an environment where there's little to be found. As a result, it's been lying dormant on the ocean floor for all these years. That would be my best guess, yes. Hmm... I only rerouted some electricity to a small hydroelectric plant nearby. It shouldn't have been nearly enough to bring that mammoth monstrosity back to life. Weird. <laughs> we can figure out the details later. Commander, if this thing truly is a tyrant class, there's nothing we can do right now. The only reason we're still here is that, for whatever reason, it didn't attack us and instead went back into the water. I suggest we leave this island right now. Wait. The signal stopped moving. Might there be some gold coins awaiting us? Closer to our dream. The signal appears to have stopped here. That's... Beside the road heading back to the mainland. That's where the Kraken is? Hmm. There's still a fair bit of distance between the sea road and the signal. We'll move quietly. If the signal starts to move again, we'll pull back right away. Roger. Helm, are you okay? Yes. I won't drag you all down. Don't worry. <sighs> no reaction yet. Maybe it's sleeping. I'm glad. Everyone, keep your head on a swivel. Wake it! Shh. Everyone stay still. Once again, the body is somewhere far off. Only the appendages are focused on this area. Those tentacles must be miles long. Oh, could it be? 
Everyone, stay here for a bit. I'm going in alone. Be that as it may, someone has to do something. I'm already injured, so it makes the most sense for me to go. What kind of logic is that? That's screwed up! If someone has to act as bait, it'd be better for someone wounded to go, rather than someone who's healthy. I also know more about the Kraken than any of you do. Let me do this. Ugh. Do what you must. It pains me as a doctor to let you do this. The second you feel something isn't right, you fall back, okay? I understand. I appreciate your concern. This is meant to be a warning. And if I go further... This is bad. We're trapped here. Figures. As soon as we pass the halfway mark, the tentacles show up. One step further, and they start to attack. Given their size, it would be next to impossible to evade these things and get to the other side. Oh boy. We're in big trouble. Hmm. The only thing I don't understand is... Why is it keeping us here? About one week. It's already been one day, so that gives us five or six days before we're well and truly trapped. Food supplies are also a concern. We didn't take many rations with us since we thought we'd be in and out of here. Wait! We have litter! What's preventing us from doing what we did before? We can just build a boat like before and cross. Why do we have to use this pathway? Hey! You're right! You guys make it seem as if I can pull these creations out of thin air! No, that won't work this time. The situation isn't the same. I'm not sure how sturdy that boat was. But if the Kraken happens to attack us while we were crossing, we would all drown. She's right. It's far too dangerous. But that Kraken has parked itself there, it doesn't seem like it's gonna move. If we just sit here and twiddle our thumbs, we really will be trapped. Sleep... forever? Don't jinx us! The first thing we need to do is get in touch with the Ark. Perhaps they can help us formulate a plan to escape this island. Engaging the enemy. It's probably because of the Kraken. The Alva Particle Concentration Level is as bad as it was before, so it must have jamming capabilities.
Do you know what time it is? for the worst-case scenario. There are two possibilities. The first is that the Kraken calls an end to the stalemate and takes the offensive. The second is that no support comes, and we're trapped here until the pathway is underwater again. Whatever happens, we need to be ready for a fight, should it occur. You're right. We'll take turns being on guard duty until the sun comes up. Visibility is virtually non-existent now since it's dark. I'll stand guard first. If anyone is tired or needs to recharge, go and rest. I'd say you qualify most of all to take a breather. Don't forget about that twisted ankle of yours. I'm fine. I received proper treatment. Don't worry. <sighs> you say that, but then you always go and do things that make us worried. You're always volunteering yourself for everything and getting hurt. But you never learn your lesson. You make it sound like I'm being impulsive. I'm merely trying to... Why? Why do you always have to be the first one into the fray anyway? I told you, I'm the most familiar with the Kraken. Okay, and what else? I know its weak point is on the inside of the leg. And? That's all I know. All right, then. Now all of us know the same amount of information. Ugh. Quit beating around the bush. And tell us the truth. If the Admire arrives, I want to be the first to spot it. <sighs> you really believe that they'll send the Admire? I know you think it's absurd. But I... I don't think that. We've got Krakens popping out of the sea, so having the Admire show up isn't exactly outside the realm of possibility. <gasps> Helm. It's fine to be a leader and wait for the Admire. All I'm saying is that you shouldn't stretch yourself too thin. You're not the only one here. That's right. Don't be so stubborn. I know it might not seem like we can be of much help, but we're on your side. No one here is going to be thankful to you if you end up driving yourself into the ground. Hmm. I'll go rest first. I'll leave the guard duty to you. That's the spirit. I'll take the first watch. I better go look after Helm. I'll stand guard too. Same here. Freema, you come too. <sighs> no. You already slept all day today. Sad. Commander, you go in and get some sleep too. We don't know what might happen. You need to conserve your strength.
This battle's finished. Moving on. Nope. No issues at all. And no changes to the signal. I'm not sure if I'm glad or... Hmm. It's weird. What is? This whole situation. Raptures are usually highly aggressive. Why is this one just sitting there, waiting? Hmm. That's it. I'm going in the sea. Of course. Mary was tending to me all last night. <laughs> and you are a very cooperative patient. You should be more or less recovered by now. But not at 100%, may I remind you. Why are you suddenly going into the sea? There's something I want to confirm. I'm going to swim to a spot where the Kraken can't see and get a good look at it. Uh... It shouldn't take much time. Is that alright with all of you? You don't need our permission. You're the best swimmer out of all of us by a country mile. If you're willing to go this far, there must be a good reason for it. Go do your thing. Thank you. I'm off. <sighs> it can't be. It has its tentacles wrapped around the whole island. What is the Kraken up to? Why is it preventing us from leaving this island? If we're ever going to get out of this, we really need to come up with an intricate plan. Oh! The Admire! What, what, what's the meaning of this? It must be something urgent if you're calling us this early in the morning. It is. I don't have much time, so I'll make this quick. A Tyrant-class Rapture has appeared. In the sea. Uh. Uh. It's called Kraken. Kraken is blocking the pathway off the island, effectively cutting them off from the mainland. On top of that, communications are jammed, so we don't know the current situation. The long and short of it is that the situation is desperate. I'm considering sending out the Admire. But what do you think? The last time the Kraken was seen was during the first Rapture invasion. So it's back and fully operational again? I don't think so. Based on the amount of energy the island can provide, I would say it's essentially opening its eyes, temporarily. But we can't confirm anything at this point. I see. I think I agree with that assessment. I see no reason not to send an Elysian. If it's true that they are truly cut off from the mainland, we'll have to move fast. We don't have any forces meant to engage in battle with aquatic raptures. Burningham, what are your thoughts? Hmm... I... I... Of course, I agree. If something happens, I'll take full responsibility. If the Admirer is to be deployed you have my approval. Huh. So it's unanimous, then? Appears so. All right. I'll proceed with deploying the Admire, as per our discussion. What about all the necessary preparations? A fine question. You don't have to worry about that. Mast and Anchor are, are, are still in the Ark. <laughs> 